How to use Ibis Paint X. Let's get started. Ibis Paint is an app with the concept of share the fun of drawing. Ibis Paint was created for the purpose of enabling communication, enjoying drawing, and developing your drawing abilities. This drawing lecture is for newcomers to digital drawing. If you want to get better at drawing the two most important things are to enjoy drawing and to draw a lot. This time try making your own artwork. First of all, tap my gallery. At first, there will be no artwork in the gallery. All of the artwork you make will go here. First, tap the plus button to add in artwork. SD size is a small canvas, and HD size is a large canvas. The size, number of pixels, and resolution, will depend on your device. The maximum number of layers will also be displayed. This number also depends on your device. Tap HD size. This is the main screen where you will create your artwork. To stop drawing, tap back button and tap back to my gallery. This will take you back to the my gallery screen. From left to right are brush eraser toggle, tool selector, properties, color, full screen view, layer, and back button. This is the tool selection window used to change the main tools. The brush tool is selected by default when you open a canvas. Displayed from top are Transform tool, lasso tool, brush tool, smudge tool, bucket tool, frame divider, canvas, magic wand, filter, eraser tool, blur tool, text, eyedropper, and settings. It could prove difficult to learn all the tools at once, so it is probably best to gradually learn their functions as you create using the app. The button at the top right of the screen is, Selection Aerial Tool, Stabilizer, Ruler Tool, Material Tool from the left. Trying to draw on a small smartphone screen is very difficult for beginners. As such, I suggest that you use an analog drawing for example, something that you have drawn on paper as the starting point for your adventure into digital art like this. If you have a sketchbook, draw something in there. Printer or notebook paper is also fine. Draw as you normally do and then take a photo of it with your smartphone. Next, tap the import from photo library, and import the photo of your drawing. Select the photo activates positioning mode. Use one finger to drag and two fingers to zoom in and out. Tap this icon to toggle rotation ON and rotate the photo with a two finger drag. When you have finished, tap the done button. Now we have three layers. The layer with the pink background is called the selection layer. It's a special layer where you can use brush or eraser to create selection areas. The order of the layers is fixed but you can drag the reorder handle up or down to rearrange the layers. As photo are not transparent anything in layer below them will not be visible. Now, drag the photo you just imported to the bottom and set the current layer to 2. If you import a sketch with dark strokes made by a pen or similar then it will be difficult to see the lines that you will trace over the top of them. In such a case, decreasing the opacity of the sketch layer will lighten the dark lines. Beginners often forget to switch the current layer back, so take care. First, open the window and check that the layer that you want to draw on is set as the current layer. Open the layer window and check that layer 2 it has a light blue background is selected. If it is not selected, tap layer 2 to change it to the current layer. Next, tap this icon to close the layer window. Now let's draw.
Here is the finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video.